Hi you guys and welcome back. In today's video I am going to be showing you the new Fenty Beauty skin tint. It is called Eavesdrop. Like Eavesdrop. Eavesdrop. <laughs> Eavesdrop. And um, this is in the shade number 13 and I know that this is why you clicked on my video so I don't want to waste any more time. I just got this yesterday when it dropped so let's get right into the video. <laughs> Okay, before we get started, my name is Ebony. If this is your first time here, I am in the shade 345 in Fenty Foundation. It is like my skin in a bottle or a compact. Perfect shade. My skin type is pretty, pretty normal, but I have started taking tretinoin, which kind of leans me now towards the dry side. But, but if anyone wants to know, I am typically normal and then I get oily right here on my nose not even in my t-zone area just my nose so i just wanted to let you know what kind of skin i'm working with before we get started and on my face right now i am wearing fenty skin products i am wearing the fat water which these are products i use every day every single day so i do have on the fat water and then i followed up with their um moisturizing sunscreen i think that's what it's called but I use this every single day. It is one of my favorite skincare products. So I just wanted to let you know that that is what's on my face right now. Okay, so let's just, without further ado, let's just hop right into this foundation or this blurring skin tint. This is in the shade 13. And this supposedly corresponds with certain shades. So I've heard some people say that it's like they'll say the number and then through another number. And I don't think that that is how this works. So um, they do have a shade finder. If you go to their Instagram page, I'm not sure if they have one on the website, but they do have a shade finder on the Instagram page. So I am gonna put up somewhere on the screen the shade range map so you guys can know what I'm talking about. And by the way, I do live in Southern California. It is hot, I'm on the third floor, and um, yeah, I keep my windows open, so if you hear those badass cheering, they're not mine. So they only have 25 shades, and I don't wanna say only because with skin tints, you do not need like 50 or 60 shades of skin tint because it isn't any kind of like full coverage or medium coverage that you're looking for. So I am in the shade 345. So for me, it would be number 13 is 320 comma 345 so if you are in the shade 320 or 345 then you should be getting the 13. so there are two or three pro filter shades that will match one skin tint shade again i am shade 13. so this is supposed to be a blurring tint i'm going to just read a little bit for you guys since this is brand new this is a blurring tint it has 25 flexible shades it is buildable with light to medium long wear coverage it has a hydrating diffused effect. It is smooth texture that layers well with primer and skincare, applies well with fingers or brush, and humidity, sweat, and transfer resistant formula. So that's pretty cool considering we're all still wearing masks. Shake well, apply a few drops, and spread with your fingers or a foundation brush. I am going to be using my fingers. And just twist this off. I'm gonna start with that. So that is number 13. I'm just gonna do one side first. I'm gonna blend this in. Oh my God, this is disappearing. Okay, so you can def uh, definitely has like a blurring effect. Hmm. That looks really, really, really nice. And you can see, so I do have a little bit of redness. And I didn't use a whole lot, so I'm just, I just wanna see how much I need to use before I just squirt a bunch on my face. And I'm gonna put some on my nose and a tad bit on my forehead. I'm not a huge fan of putting foundation on my forehead because I do have um, lines in my forehead. I think that looks really good. This is really, really nice. Yeah, that looks 
looks really good what do you guys think so obviously so let's just do a straight on shot this is <laughs> the side with obviously with the skin tint and then this is the side without I think that this is absolutely beautiful I'm so excited I do think that I want to try it with a brush though because I just I do sometimes apply skin tint with my fingers but that's like I like pour it in my hand and like I put it all over my face which I'm trying not to do right now so I'm gonna try with this brush right here on this side and just see if I can get it blended in a little bit better Okay, I have to say that I definitely prefer how it looks when you apply it with your fingers because your hands are like kind of warm and it heats the foundation up and it really just blends in a lot better with your skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and go in with my fingers, but then I'm going to finish it off with a brush. I really really like the way this looks this is definitely a kind of my skin but better formula um, do I like this better than the hydrating because I really really like the hydrating um yes I do I do I do like this better than the hydrating the hydrating is fine but it, to me it is still like a foundation this is not a foundation this is a skin tint so there are differences and I really really love skin tints so so there are certain things that it did not cover up you know I have a huge freckle right here I have a couple of moles right here the freckles that I have on my forehead and on my face but I'm just gonna be honest with you I do not like foundation to cover up my freckles because it never does a good enough job and then it just looks gray under the makeup I don't think it needs to be said it feels very light I feel like I'm wearing nothing at all when I put my hands it's not sticky or anything it feels like just like I'm wearing like skincare or something so I don't think that this necessarily needs to be um, set or anything so I'm not gonna use any setting powder with this what I am going to do though is I'm just going to put on a little bit of makeup that won't disturb the skin tint and I'll be right back. Alright you guys so I'm back and I didn't do anything I just put some of my Fenty bronzer on my lids I added a little bit of mascara and then on my lips I just added my two Fenty creams this is um, one is in the honey waffles and then the other one is in cookie jar and I just mixed those two because these are my two favorite lip glosses right now so yeah before I leave I just want to come up close so you guys can see how this looks after it has been on for about 30 minutes now all right so I am up close and personal with you guys and so let's see I want you to see how this is looking the kind of coverage that I'm getting I think that it looks so so good um, it's not settling in my forehead lines and you guys can definitely see my forehead lines here so definitely blurred my pores as you can see I'm just really happy with this so I hope I hope I hope that it can last for the next couple of hours all right so I'm gonna go I'm gonna have my coffee and everything I'm gonna live out my day and then I will be back at the end of the day so you guys can see how this held up so I will see you later I look at myself in the mirror and I'm a little bit taken aback at how this looks. It does not look like a skin tint to me. It does look more like a really light foundation. It has a ton of pigment in it. So I can see that I am wearing something on my face. Whereas with true skin tint like Glossier or something, it's just, I just have like a glow, you know, this actually deposits pigment on my face. I do like the look of that, but I feel like I would not be able to put this on and go 
like I would with Glossier. Like I have to powder with this and I don't even really have like oily skin, but you can see that the oils are peeking out and probably after wearing it for like eight hours or something, I would be pretty greasy, especially around my nose area. So yeah, um, I will probably just need a dusting of powder over it, but it's nothing that would um, prevent me from actually wearing this. I'm just kind of comparing it to my tried and true serums. And I just want to say that this one is a little bit more substantial than something you would find elsewhere. So that's it. I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm gonna clock out for right now. I'm so tired. <laughs> And I'm just trying to hang in there until like seven or something so I can wrap this up and hop in the shower. So I'll see you guys at the end of this video. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. It is about, last time I checked, it was like 6.20 or something. I'm not really sure, but I wanted to just get back here before the sunset um, so you guys could still see this in natural light. Um... I feel terrible. It's that time of the month for me and it is kicking my ass. So I apologize if this is low energy. I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I really am. But I wanted to just um, come back here and let you guys see how it's held up. It looks pretty much the same as it looked midway through. It has not gotten any oilier. Is that a word? Greasier? It hasn't. I don't think I have more oils coming out of my face, but um, I actually really like the way this wore. I would probably go ahead and just, um, I don't know, set my nose probably and everything else I will let stay because I really do like that kind of glowy look. So I'm going to come up a little bit closer so you guys can see how it looks. All right. So this is the final check in. Um, this is how the makeup is looking. Um, you can see my, my lines peeking through there. Okay, so I have a tissue here and I'm just gonna fold this up. And nothing came off from right here. So there's nothing here right now. But now I'm gonna go on my forehead. Didn't, didn't come off there either, not really. There's like a little tiny bit, but for the most part, no, I didn't really get anything. And then now my chin. Okay, I did get a little bit like around this area. I'm sure you can see that. So a little bit came off of my chin area and around this area right here, which is like my problem area. So that's pretty, pretty good for a skin tint that I did not set. So yeah, this is how it's looking. And just want you guys to see all of it. Pretty, I'm pretty pleased with how this lasted all day. Okay, so that's it. <laughs> I'm just, as you guys can see, I am so worn out, so worn out. Um, I think that the color at first looked a little bit, a little bit off, but it definitely settled in. And I do think that number 13 is the correct shade for um, 345. I have just like learned to trust Fenty with the process because they know undertones. They know what they're doing. So I actually think that this is that perfect match for me. The only thing that I'm gonna say about this is that it took me by surprise how much coverage it gave. I was not expecting that much coverage. And I am definitely going to think about that when I use this the next time. If you want something that's really light, that looks light, that feels light, but will kind of cover some of your blemishes or go well with concealer, I would definitely recommend this. This is probably the most the serum with the most coverage that I have ever used, which is a good thing. It is a good thing. I'm so happy they came out with this. I have been in their comments for the past two years begging them to release a skin tint. And they did, and I think that they did an excellent job with it. I could not be happier. I just need to play with this some more because I'm really, really excited about what this can do for people like me who want to wear like a full face, but I don't like heavy foundation. So I'm just really interested to see how this is gonna look with an eye look and with bronzer and with setting powder and everything. I'm really excited for this. 
And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my content, please subscribe. I do makeup and hair videos and lifestyle videos and everything else. Um, yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Tell me now, tell me something. Cause I don't know how this gonna end. Oh no. Tell me now, tell me something. Cause I don't wanna be just friends